Now to an update on the shutdown of ShopGo. The remaining stores will close June 16th. In all, nearly 2,500 people in Wisconsin will lose their jobs. It's the end of an era for the hometown company that opened its doors nearly 60 years ago. Now they're trying to help displaced workers find new employment. This week, they held mock interviews to help employees improve their skills to land a new job. Now the closing of ShopGo also means the end of the foundation. In the past nearly 40 years, the ShopGo Foundation has given more than $35 million in grants to support everything from health to education. On Tuesday, Foundation leader Michelle Hansen went on a farewell tour to hand out one last gift to the community, and she invited NBC 26's Stacey Engebretson to join her. It's NBC 26 Cares. The Shopco Foundation's final gift? More than two and a half million dollars in grants to nearly 40 different organizations. With checks in hand and tears in her eyes, leader Michelle Hansen is making her final deliveries to the community partners that have become more like family. It's bittersweet. We heard those words. This is a bittersweet moment for us. From the Shopko Foundation. Here over from and over again. This day is a really, really bittersweet day. Farewell tour. As Michelle Hansen delivered the final checks from the Shopco Foundation. It was hard. It kind of caught me off guard. I am honored to present you with a check for $200,000. The Green Bay Area Public School District already has a plan for the money. Their gift will be something that will last a long, long time because our intention is to put it into our newly founded Education Foundation. I just want to <laughs> hug you. Oh, you to provide scholarships for deserving students. The gifts that they've afforded us over these years, providing everything from iPads to books to wellness opportunities, uh, the list goes on and on. The foundation also supported the Epilepsy Foundation with lemonade for Livy stands and Shopco stores. A final gift of $100,000 will go towards finding new treatments or a cure. The point of research why that's so important too is that, that two-thirds of people still don't know why they have epilepsy and a third of those people still don't have their seizures under control. Freedom House will use its $50,000 gift to increase the capacity of the homeless shelter. We're going to be building a new facility and it'll allow Shopco to leave a legacy in the community, um, physical bricks and mortar that we can um, remember Shopco. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Hansen also visited CP's new center that Shopco Foundation dollars helped make a reality. A final grant of $25,000 will help CP expand services for those living with cognitive and physical disabilities. These dollars that Shop Shopco has provided us with are going to help us meet that unmet demand in the community. And with this donation of $15,000 comes the end of a 35-year partnership with Paul's Pantry. It leaves a, a hole and a void, and I think not just for Paul's Pantry, but for a lot of different organizations. We're going to have to go out and we're going to have to beat the bushes and find some other supporters to take up that slack. It's the bitter to this story. To lose them in the community is uh, really, really a sad day. But as Shopko says goodbye, Hansen encourages everyone to savor the sweet. And we'll make sure that Shopko is on our website so that no matter years from now, people will know that this important investment was made. I thought it was going to be fun to give money away. And it was, but it was also a little heartbreaking because this is, this is it for ShopGo. And so we hope to have left a, a good lasting impact in the community. And they sure did. The ShopCo Foundation raised its money through its very successful Summer Golf Classic. To see a list of organizations receiving the final grants, go to NBC26.com. Stacey Angabretson, NBC26. And Hansen will continue her tour today to deliver more grants. NBC26 is grateful for our relationship with the ShopGo Foundation. We teamed up for our Partners in Education report that will still air every Thursday on NBC26 at 5.